Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we helped out Romani, and we did the beaver race. And in this episode, we are going to do something that will actually help us. So... We can actually do this for her. Wait, what? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so if you talk to her... Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? Yes. And here's a little thing to read. She's gonna talk. That's great. Tonight I'm kind of lonely. I'm w I welcome company. Well, whatever you want, babe. Alrighty, so let's just let's do our story. And yeah. I guess it's been a while since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things have been getting busy lately. The cows already seem bothered and frazzled. I'm fine. My sister Romani has been worried too. She's practicing using a bow. She says it's to stop the ghosts. Say, what's the moon? What are the townsfolk saying about that moon? It's bigger than before, isn't it? In town, I have a friend. Her name's Anju. Anju, the day after tomorrow is her wedding. I wonder if it will fall, that thing. Maybe? Well, as you all know, it probably has. There's probably already been a video response or something that says it already. What? The road. Boy, get your bow ready. First Milk Road is blocked by a boulder, and now we have to take this detour through ugly country. Okay, so in this part, we're going to have to do something here. Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try to get us through the here as fast as I can. If any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? Yes. Thanks, I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll have a big thanks for you. Basically, what you have to do is just shoot them with arrows, spam arrows, just to slow them down. Make sure they don't hit the milk bottles in front of you. Make sure you don't shoot the milk bottles because you can't actually break them by shooting them. It actually really sucks if you shoot them. Ah, die. Die, all of you, die. Uh, this can be a little nerve-wracking. I mean, you can get a little nervous here. Don't Try not to get too nervous. Just spam arrows and just hopefully you have good accuracy with the bow. If you don't, well... I feel sorry for you. Nope. Get away. Sorry for not having any commentary here. I, there's really nothing to talk about. I mean, all you have to do is just shoot this guy, these guys. This is really boring. There's a lot of boring side quests in this game. I mean, but it does keep you occupied for a while. I mean, there's still going to be a few more episodes until I actually do anything. You can actually still shoot your arrows and hit them. See? I, I never figured that out until just now. Because I could hear the arrows still shooting and everything. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. You got Romani's mask. Wear it to show you're a member of the exclusive milk bar. 
Watte. By do. Doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge now I now acknowledge you as being an adult. Kremia the ranch owner was added to your notebook. You guard the ranch's milk. This was added to your notebook. Okay. So looks like we won that. Alright, so let's go into town. We'll slow down time. Do 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 do. Uh, uh. Sorry about that. All right, so how about we go over her? Well, let's go up in her, and uh, there's a couple things we can do here. First, if you go to that shop where we couldn't buy anything as a Deku, you can actually do something there. And how about we do that? I'm actually going the wrong way, aren't I? Okay, so I gotta go over here. So let's go in here. Alright, we have 180 rupees. No, actually we don't need rupees for this. What was I thinking? Okay, so if you go in here... Back in one hour. Crap. Okay, so I guess we'll have to wait here. But while I'm at it, I'm gonna get 20 rupees out of the bank. Just because I don't want to scrounge for rupees. Actually, I can scrounge for rupees. I don't want to waste too many rupees here. Alright, so let's go get this. You can actually get this as soon as you get the hook shot. Or you can get it when you can get the title deed from him. But, I mean, what's the point of doing that? Alright, so if you look up here, you can see a treasure chest, just barely, here. So, let's hook shot up there. Didn't even touch it, but okay. And we got 20 rupees. Just enough. Okay. Because there's actually something I want to get. Well, at least I'm going to get it and show you guys. Actually, no, I won't actually get it until next the next dungeon. Because the next dungeon you need it the most. So, how about we deposit the rupees? Alright, now we got 900 something rupees in here now. 922 rupees. Okay, it needs to be 10 o'clock here. As you can see, our item menus pretty much almost fold up, filled up. Uh-oh, I forgot to put another egg back. Crap. And then there's all this. Got one. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten slots left of masks. That's pretty cool. And if I... You know, if you guys don't want to hear me ramble on, just skip forward in the video about... I don't know, 30 seconds or so. I'll just be quiet here. Let you listen to awesome music. Okay, that's 10 o'clock. There's a few things that's opened up now. There's this. Wait, no, not this. Never mind. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, baby, that's a nice thing you got there. Let me hear a song you wrote. Um, how about this? Actually, that was terrible. I really don't want to do that. Oh, 
Okay, so it's... Okay, so it's three left, and okay. Okay, so there's something I actually want to go do before we move on to something else. There's something we can actually do here in town. So if we go over here, as you, were, as you can just, as you just saw, we got a mask called the. Uh, I don't remember what it was called. Well, it was a mask. Let's just say that and it was the Romani's mask. All right, so let's put it on. Ah, you are a member. Please come in. All right, this is the milk bar latte. Okay. So let's talk to this guy. We can actually do something here. Alright, speed. We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live revenue or venue for it's a shame. I'd like to know do a sound check though. I just wanna see what it would be have been like. Hey you. Could you help me with the performance? Yeah, I could. Okay. So Okay, you play the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center spotlight. Okay, play your ocarina like this. And you guys will actually recognize the song once it's done. Okay, that feels good. What feels good? That wretched senseless racket. All right, so let's use all four forms. So let's let's use Deku Link now. Yeah. Okay, I play the pipe, so I front left. Okay, now play your pi pipes peeps like this. Does this sound any familiar now? Of course, percussion's always in the back. I hate that. Does this sound any familiar yet? Shut up, Ingo. Hate you. Okay, so let's go back. Let's do the Zora now. And see, this is the band leader, or the band manager, and he doesn't even know it's Macau. Yes, of course, I... Alright, listen to it. Bravo, that was the best. That that melody. That melody. It brings back so many memories. It's the old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. Yep, Ballad of the Windfish from Link's Awakening. That's the song that members of the previous generation of the Indigo Goes made famous. I entered the show business because I heard this song at the carnival of time long ago. But doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current leader, lead singer who is also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please take this mask. 
We got the Circus Leader's Mask. This mask looks so sad it could be put a tear in it, even a demon's eyes. This mask doesn't have much of a purpose. So, really, there's nothing to use it with. So, Alright, so there's one place I want to go to. So there's actually a couple things we can do here. I'm actually going to go and let's go get the moon's tear again. Alright. One, three, two, five, four. Alright, let's go get the moon's tear. Alright, now we have nine slots left w of masks to get. Actually, technically eight, because we need all 24 masks. Man, my commentary is sucky today. Okay, you know what? I think that will be an episode, so next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we will continue on to getting the moon steer and getting a couple more pieces of heart. Alright, see ya.